Secretar Agues, commonly called Hawthorn, Thorn Apple, May Tree, Whitethorn, or Halberry, is a large genus of shrubs and trees in the family Rosaceae, native to temperate regions of the Northern Hemisphere in Europe, Asia and North America. The name Hawthorn was originally applied to the species native to Northern Europe, especially the common Hawthorn C.A. monogena, and the unmodified name is often so used in Britain and Ireland. The name is now also applied to the entire genus and to the related Asian genus Raralepis. The name haw, originally an Old English term for hedge, applies to the fruit. Description Critaragus species are shrubs or small trees, mostly growing to 5 euro 15 meters tall, with small poem fruit and thorny branches. The most common type of bark is smooth grey in young individuals, developing shallow longitudinal fissures with narrow ridges in older trees. The thorns are small sharp-tipped branches that arise either from other branches or from the trunk, and are typically 1 a euro 3 a cm long in one case. The leaves grow spirally arranged on long shoots, and in clusters on spur shoots on the branches or twigs. The leaves of most species have lobed or serrate margins and are somewhat variable in shape. The fruit, sometimes known as a haw, is berry-like but structurally a poem containing from one to five pyrenes that resemble the stones of plums, peaches, etc., which are drapaceous fruit in the same subfamily. Ecology Hawthorns provide food and shelter for many species of birds and mammals, and the flowers are important for many nectar-feeding insects. Hawthorns are also used as food plants by the larvae of a large number of Lepidoptera species. See list of Lepidoptera that feed on hawthorns. Haws are important for wildlife in winter, particularly thrushes and waxwings. These birds eat the haws and disperse the seeds in their droppings. Uses, culinary use, the haws, or fruits of the common hawthorn, C. monogena, are edible but the flavor has been compared to overripe apples. In the United Kingdom they are sometimes used to make a jelly or homemade wine. The leaves are edible and, if picked in spring when still young, are tender enough to be used in salads. The young leaves and flower buds, which are also edible, are known as bread and cheese in rural England. The fruits of the species Critaragus pinnatifidae are tart, bright red, and resemble small crab apple fruits. They are used to make many kinds of Chinese snacks including haw flakes and tanulu. The fruits, which are called shao and zha in Chinese, are also used to produce jams, jellies, juices, alcoholic beverages, and other drinks. 1. In South Korea, a liquor called sansachun is made from the fruits. 2. The fruits of Critaragus mexicana are known in Mexico as tejocotes and are eaten raw, cooked, or in jam during the winter months. They are stuffed in the pier plus or minus altars broken during the traditional pre-Christmas celebration known as Las Posadas. They are also cooked with other fruits to prepare a Christmas punch. The mixture of tijacote paste, sugar, and chili powder produces a popular Mexican candy called Rilitos, which is manufactured by several brands. In the southern United States fruits of three native species are collectively known as mayhaws and are made into jellies which are considered a great delicacy. The Kitanai people of northwestern North America used red and black hawthorn fruit for food. On Manito Island, Island in Canada, some red-fruited species are called halberries. They are common there thanks to the island's alkaline soil. During the pioneer days, white settlers ate these fruits during the winter as the only remaining food supply. People born on the island are now called haletas. In Iran, the fruits of Critaragus are known as salt salak and are eaten raw as a snack, or made into a jam known by the same name. Traditional medicine and research Several species of hawthorn have been used in traditional medicine, and there is considerable interest in testing hawthorn products for evidence based medicine. The products being tested are often derived from C.A. monogena, C.A. lobigata, or related Critaragus species, collectively known as hawthorn not necessarily distinguishing between these species, which are very similar in appearance. The dried fruits of Critaragus pinnatifida are used in naturopathic medicine and traditional Chinese medicine, primarily as a digestive aid. A closely related species, Critaragus cuneata is used in a similar manner. 
Other species are used in herbal medicine where the plant is believed to strengthen cardiovascular function. The Kitanai people of northwestern North America used black hawthorn fruit for food, and red hawthorn fruit in traditional medicine. Active ingredients found in hawthorn include tannins, flavonoids, oligomeric pranthocyanidins, flavonoids, triterpene acids, and phenolic acids. Standardization of hawthorn products is based on content of flavonoids and OPCs. Human Studies a 2008 Cochrane Collaboration meta-analysis of previous studies concluded that there is evidence of a significant benefit in symptom control and physiologic outcomes for an extract of hawthorn in treating chronic heart failure. A 2010 review concluded that Critaleg use, hawthorn preparations hold significant potential as a useful remedy in the treatment of cardiovascular disease. The review indicated the need for further study of the best dosages and concluded that although many different theoretical interactions between Critaleg use and orthodox medications have been postulated, none have yet been substantiated. Several earlier pilot studies assessed the ability of Hawthorne to help improve exercise tolerance in people with NYHA class II cardiac insufficiency compared to placebo. One experiment, at for four to eight weeks, found no difference from placebo. The second study, including 78 subjects for eight weeks, found significant improvement in exercise tolerance, and lower blood pressure and heart rate during exercise. The third, including 32 subjects for eight weeks, found improved exercise tolerance as well as a reduction in the incidence and severity of symptoms such as dyspnea, and fatigue decreased by approximately 50%. In the 2004 Herb CHF clinical study, 120 patients took 450 mg of hawthorn extract twice daily for six months in combination with standard therapy and a standardized exercise program. No effects of hawthorn were seen on either quality of life endpoint, or when adjusted for LVEF. One research program, consisting of 1,011 patients taking one tablet twice daily for 24 weeks, found improvements in clinical symptoms, performance and exercise tolerance test, and ejection fraction. Side effects, overdose can cause cardiac arrhythmia and dangerously low blood pressure. Milder side effects include nausea and sedation. Patients taking digoxin should avoid taking hawthorn. Landscaping, many species and hybrids are used as ornamental in street trees. The common hawthorn is extensively used in Europe as a hedge plant. During the British Agricultural Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries, hawthorn saplings were mass propagated in nurseries to create the new field boundaries required by the Enclosure Acts. Several cultivars of the Midland Hawthorn CA Lavigator have been selected for their pink or red flowers. Hawthorns are among the trees most recommended for water conservation landscapes. Grafting Hawthorn can be used as a rootstock in the practice of grafting. It is graft compatible with Mespilus, and with pear, and makes a hardier rootstock than quince, but the thorny suckering habit of the hawthorn can be problematic. Seedlings of Critaregus monogena have been used to graft multiple species on the same trunk, such as pink hawthorn, pear tree and medlar, the result being trees which give pink and white flowers and may and fruits during the summer. Chip budding has also been performed on hawthorn trunks in order to have branches of several varieties on the same tree. Such trees can be seen in Virgo, Spain, and in the northwest of France. Bonsai, many species of hawthorn make excellent bonsai trees. They are grown and enjoyed for their display of flowers. Other uses, the wood of some hawthorn species is very hard and resistant to rot. In rural North America it was prized for use as tool handles and fence posts. Folklore, the saying ne'er cast a clute till maize it conveys a warning not to shed any clutes before the summer has fully arrived and the May flowers are in full bloom. The custom of employing the flowering branches for decorative purposes on May 1 is a very early origin. But since the adoption of the Gregorian calendar in 1752, the tree has rarely been in full bloom in England before the second week of that month. In the Scottish Highlands the flowers may be seen as late as the middle of June. The hawthorn has been regarded as the emblem of hope, 
and its branches are stated to have been carried by the ancient Greeks in wedding processions, and to have been used by them to deck the altar of Hymenaeus. The supposition that the tree was the source of Jesus's crown of thorns doubtless gave rise around 1911 to the tradition among the French peasantry that it utters groans and cries on Good Friday, and probably also to the old popular superstition in Great Britain and Ireland that ill luck attended the uprooting of hawthorns. Branches of Glastonbury thorn which flowers both in December and in spring, were formerly highly valued in England, on account of the legend that the tree was originally the staff of Joseph of Arimathea. Robert Graves, in his book The White Goddess traces and reinterprets many European legends in which the white horn, also called the May tree, is central. In Celtic lore, the hawthorn plant was used commonly for inscriptions along with you and apple. It was once said to heal the broken heart. In Ireland, the red fruit is, or was in living memory, called the Johnny Maguri or Maguri. Serbian and Croatian folklore notes hawthorn is particularly deadly to vampires, and stakes used for their slaying must be made from the wood of the thorn tree. In Gaelic folklore, hawthorn marks the entrance to the other world and is strongly associated with the fairies. Law has it that it is very unlucky to cut the tree at any time other than when it is in bloom. However, during this time it is commonly cut and decorated as a may bush. This warning persists to modern times. It has been questioned by folklorist Bob Curran whether the ill luck of the DeLorean Motor Company was associated with the destruction of a fairy thorn to make way for a production facility. Hawthorn trees are often found beside Clutie wells. At these types of holy wells they are sometimes known as rag trees, for the strips of cloth which are tied to them as part of healing rituals. When all fruit fails, welcome haws was once a common expression in Ireland. The Glastonbury thorn, Critaragus monogena biflora, which flowers twice annually, was according to a medieval legend, supposed to have miraculously grown from a walking stick planted by Joseph of Arimathea at Glastonbury in Somerset, England. The original tree was destroyed in the 16th century during the English Reformation, but several cultivars have survived. Since the reign of King James I, it has been a Christmas custom to send a sprig of Glastonbury thorn flowers to the sovereign, which is used to decorate the royal family's dinner table. Propagation Although it is commonly stated that hawthorns can be propagated by cutting, this is difficult to achieve with rootless stem pieces. Small plants or suckers are often transplanted from the wild. Seeds require stratification and take one or two years to germinate. Seed germination is improved if the pyrenes that contain the seed are subjected to extensive drying at room temperature, before stratification. Uncommon forms can be grafted on to seedlings of other species. Taxonomy The number of species in the genus depends on taxonomic interpretation. Some botanists in the past recognized a thousand or more species, many of which are apomictic microspecies. It is estimated that a reasonable number is 200 species, but it is not yet clear how many species should be recognized because a large portion of the synonymy, especially in North American Critaragus, has not been worked out. Selected species Selected hybrids, Critaragusa, Arifolia, Critaragusa arnoldiana, Critaragusa, Sungarica, Critaragusa, Grignonensis grignon hawthorn, an unpublished name. Critaragusa, Lavalu Lavala copyright e hawthorn, including Critaragusa, Carrieri, Critaragusa, Macrocarpa, Critaragusa, media the name for CA monogena Euro CA Lavigator hybrids, Critaragusa, Mordenensis Morden hawthorn, including Toba and Snowbird, Critaragusa, Seneca, Zeron, Critaragusa, Smithiana red Mexican hawthorn, an unpublished name, Critaragusa, Valii. References. External links. Critaragus species. The hawthorns at plants for a future.